Hey guys, welcome to Slime Rancher 2, and today I am going to show you the easiest way to get Moondew Nectar, and I don't know why I'm starting over here and not on the ranch, well, so basically, you know Moondew Nectar, well, you have to go to the Starlight Strand, and I have the teleporter just right behind my back, okay, the slime is, is bouncing, Okay, for chickens. And okay, so basically to get Moondew Nectar, well, you have to go to the most common places where Moondew Nectar is. Like, for example, if I go to another place that like, that doesn't have any Flutter Slimes in it. So basically the Flutter Slime area has a lot of Moondew Nectar there, but here's an example. So basically, oh no, I'm getting lost. Okay, so basically if I go here... There is literally hardly any Moondew Nectar, probably because there aren't any Flutter Slimes over here. But now, I am going to show you the location where you can find lots and lots and lots of Moondew Nectar. And, okay, so basically you shall go this way. Well, keep following me this way. Well, you have to keep venturing this path over here. Oh no! Oh no, it's a tar infestation! I actually fed it, fed it my Q-berry. Please stop it, Tars. I Why did I feed the tar a Q-berry? Come on! I want to get out of here and get the Moondew Nectar. Oh... Well, basically, you have to fly up there, but please get me out of the tar infestation before we can find the moon dew nectar. Okay, so we sh should get up here. Please, um, I want to get up here. Okay, there we go. Finally, we're up. I was hoping for no tar infestations, but there keeps on being loads of tar infestations, but ignore that. Because we have to find the moon dew nectar. Okay, so let's go this way. And this way, so keep going down this path until you find the place with a flutter gordo here. And please ignore the tar infestations at the moment. And then at the pink area off off the flutter gordo, you can see that there's like ten thousand moondo nectars over here, or like a lot of moondo nectars. So basically, there's a moondo nectar location over there. And also one over there, and that one is fully grown, I think. And also over there, whoa! Just look how many Moondo Nectar locations there are. There's like a thousand or ten thousand of them, just like I said. And you can just fly up here and get the Moondo Nectar on top of the slime's head. Wait, it kind of looks like a tangled slime a little bit, so we have to grab this. And boom! Well, this is the place I recommend on finding Moondew Nectar because you can find a load of these flowers. So if you see one of those blue flowers, that is where Moondew Nectar grows. Plus also, there are some other locations that I recommend going to, like this area right after the Flutter Gordo area. There is still some Moondew Nectar over here. And if you venture to where um, the ringtail gordo is, but like everyone calls it tanuki, it's a t it's a ringtail. You did find some moondew nectar over here. Like, whoa, that like a lot of moondew nectar over here. It's basically like a moondew nectar farm over here. So you can also come over here. Oh, wait, is it there? Yeah, you can also come over here and find. Some Moondew Nectar, and it's basically so much Moondew Nectar that I can't handle it. And then you can fly up here, and guess what? More Moondew Nectar! And also, if you keep going down this path, you can find... You know what it is. You can literally find the Moondew Nectar there. So keep it going like this, and you did see three flowers there. And that is where the, all the Moondew Nectar is. That one just grew out of nowhere. 
There's moon dew nectar there, and also some moon dew nectar there. Well, so this is where most of the moon dew nectar is found, and if you want to farm it, you have to sleep until night when it's daytime, and then you have to go to to the starlight strand, and then get get the moon dew nectar from there. Oh, look, one started growing, and then you. You have to go back to your ranch and sleep until night again. And then you can repeatedly keep getting the these things if you saw the things on my screen. And watch me get this moon this struggle to get this moon doing nectar up here while Tars are are torturing me. I don't know. Wait, I didn't know there was moon doing nectar behind the tree. See, well, this area can contain a lot of moon dew nectar. So it's probably uncommon in of rare. Please do not pick up the tars. How do I even get up there? Uh, oh no, oh, no, I fell down. Okay, so, so basically this is where most of the moon dew nectar can be found. Well, it's like, like a lot can be found in here. But I don't really recommend the other areas of the Starlight Strands, except where the Flutter Slimes are, because you can't really find that much Moon Dew Nectar. Like, if I go over here, there is hardly any Moon Dew Nectar over here. Like, there is no Moon Dew Nectar over here. So I do not recommend going to those areas for the Moon Dew Nectar. So yeah. You should be going this way. Well, you you shouldn't be going this way where the angler slimes are to just to find the moon dew nectar. Well, at first when I played Slime Rancher 2, I didn't know I I actually didn't know oh how to get moon dew nectar because I thought it was so rare. And also, well, there's almost no moon dew nectar here. So yeah, you actually need a jetpack for this, or else you can't find the moon dew nectar. Well, because there is hardly anything, any moon dew nectar in this area, so you need a jetpack to and to go to that area. And I think that is how you get all the moon dew nectar in Slime Rancher 2. So I am sorry for for uploading very lazily. I'm sorry for not uploading for like a month or two. So basically this is going to be the end of this video, so bye!